welcome to my next Let's Play. In this Link's Awakening Let's Play, we are going to be entering Eagle's Tower and kicking that dungeon butt. Okay. First thing you do, you need to enter Eagle's Tower. And you need to go this way. First, I recommend at least. kill everything in this room. I discovered that you can kill these things with boomerangs, so I'm going to be doing that. But kill the lifelikes and everything in that room to get a key, which will allow you to go take this direction. Uh, you need to go north, and we're gonna pick up this metal ball. And we're going to throw it over here first so that it'll be easier to pick up later. Pull on this, until the doors are open, and then run over there, pick up your metal ball, and get over there. I'm gonna kill that Zol gel thing, and then throw the metal ball against this post. I'm gonna pick up this metal ball and then throw it against the post. Now, I'm going to leave this metal ball here, and I'm going to come back to it. And I'm going to enter this room, and it's one another one of those horse things. So we pick up the horses and try to get them to be both heads up. And come on, you can do this, stupid horse. Really? Come on. There we go. And you get your map. Now we're going to go back down. And we're going to jump across this hole. So we'll get down there. You see there's another post. There's four posts that you need to knock down. Um, you need to pop this bubble. That'll make it easier for you to get this ball down. We're gonna pick it up. And we're gonna throw it against this post. Post done. And I'll just keep hurting myself. Okay, um, I'm gonna throw this back in this room. Push this block down and then go this way. take this ball into this room and once again it's a free of a kind so of course to be the free of a kind you need to get them to match and I'm not doing a good job with this <laughs> Got it. this will allow you to get I believe another key item This is map. We already got a good start. Now we need to throw this ball over to here. And we'll just have to leave it. Now if you go for this door, you'll enter this room and kill the mini blend. And I recommend that you go north. And there's your introduction of Anti-Kirby. That's another random Nintendo character that they threw in. Like Kirby, he will suck you up, so you need to kill him. Um, if you have a boomerang, use it on him. You can also use bombs on this guy. Because he'll suck up the bombs. In that chest was an owl beak. But we'll get that in a moment. And we're first... We're gonna focus on killing this rehash of the mini boss. Take him out. I'm going to jump down this hole real quick, and I'm going to show you the location for the last secret seashell. There you go, there it is. Yep, 
we officially have all 26 secret seashells, so you cannot collect any more, but... So, after this dungeon, of course, we're gonna go to the seashell mansion and um, get our upgraded weapon. Going back in here, yeah, he's gone since he was a key thing. And there's these guys again. You need to match them again to get the chest over here. It's really not that great of an item, but you'll need it. And we're going to go back north. And we're going to go for this door. Pick out that. And then this is another one of those rooms with the moving floor, so you need to wait and kill all the floors in the room before you can go on. Which isn't hard to do. Go into hell. And you enter this room. So we can push, knock this down. Before we leave this room, We're going to use bombs on this wall right here. We're gonna go down. And there's a cracked wall. And I'm going to hook shot across to get bombs. So yeah, you don't get a useful item there, but hey. And we're gonna go back in this way once again. And before I mess with the ball part of this, I'm going to go... No, I need to do the ball part first. Um, I'm now gonna go back to the ball room. And instead, I'm gonna go north. And re-enter like I previously did. And let's get out my boomerang. Get all the floor tiles. Enter this room, and we're gonna push this block down. Um, for me, this is kind of hard to do, but I sometimes screw up and make the ball fall into the hole, but I didn't do it that time, sweet. But you need to pick up the ball, throw it that way. throw it over. Crap. Over! <laughs> but yeah, that's basically how it works. With that, we're going to have to, oh man, we're gonna have to go back and pop this bubble. Wait, we don't have to pop this bubble. Never mind! <laughs> I fell in a ways, but we're gonna go collect that owl beak, I guess. That's a good uh, thing, I guess. But yeah, just to get it and say we got all the key dungeon items. But yeah, since we popped the bubble, we lost access to that doorway, but we got the stone beak, so hey, whatever. <laughs> and we're going to hook shot back. <sighs> Avoid those gibbos. One thing you can do, which is really great, you can um, go this way and activate that bubble. And try to get back to the room with the chest. Ah, stupid gibbo. I'm just gonna hit everything, just cuz. <laughs> but um, go back to this room. And get your spear shield. There's your key item for this dungeon. Um, I'm going to kill this guy. Maybe he'll give me a free fairy. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, there's your key and use that on the block. You can get another key if you go down this hole. And open this chest over here. easy to get stuff in this dungeon uh, compared to other dungeons, and it's really not that confusing of a dungeon. But we're 
we're gonna go back. And as you see, there's our ball, our metal ball. And we're gonna pick it up. I like to throw it at those guys, because I don't like them. And throw it across. <laughs> it hit me regardless. And we're gonna have to do, go back for this room again. Yeah. We go through the parts of this dungeon over and over again. But beware, kill the tiles. <laughs> and we're going to hookshot across. That's why I activated that chest so that this chest won't disappear, which it can if you do not open it. Pick up this ball and then throw it at the last one. unlocked another part of the dungeon, but I'm going to have to get back to it, so get back to the start, <laughs> if I remember correctly, I think it should be good, I think it should be able to go, yep, go in here, if I remember correctly, I'm gonna activate this guy first to go through this door. Yep. And you now enter here. You could enter earlier, it's just, um, you're just dropping the floor so that you can get to the boss. Yeah, so it's good to just get the post part done. Die, cat. Now we're gonna go. Let's see. I guess we can use up our final key in this dungeon. If you come here, there's the Gomas, so if you're low on health, you can jump on these guys and get another heart. Uh, we're gonna go over here to our official mini boss fight. Now, to beat him is really ridiculously easy. He's gonna summon these little bat critters, since they're not quiches, and they're gonna fly at you. Kill them all, and I mean just kill them all, and you win. If you don't kill them all the first time, it's okay. He'll like make you do it again and again until you kill them all. But if you kill them all, you win. Now, if you enter this room, okay, you need to push these blocks together and get your dungeon key, so or nightmare key. So there you go. Got everything we need for this dungeon. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a location for the last chest and how to get it. And you really, what you need to do is you need to go, well, we're gonna use up this key first. On this key block, even though it's pointless. Like really, that was just, these are two pointless rooms. Even though I just hurt myself. But you go through this room, Jump on his Goomba. No! Really? Crap. <laughs> Unfair. Really? Well, we're just gonna go back to the beginning. Yeah. Cause I'm not. No. No, I'm not gonna re hunt my way back. No. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's go back. I'm not gonna kill these just in case I'll need them, because I might. And we're gonna go back this way. Beware. And to get the last chest of this dungeon, you need to pick up these horses and make them match. 
and it's really not that great of an item since I'm already pretty well stocked with potions, so... Yeah, it's just a potion. I already have one, so I don't really need it. But I'm just showing you where to get it and how to get it. Now, since I'm... Dang it. Since I'm low on hearts, I'm gonna jump on these Goombas to get some help, because I need it for the upcoming boss fight. some hops. Now uh, you need to use your hook shot again. So we'll put that on. Really? No, oh, I don't want my bomb. I wanted uh, this game. <laughs> and you go through this door. This will take you to the boss fight. I'm going to equip my hook shot. Because it's easier if you do this. And here he goes. Welcome to... Let me introduce you to Evil Eagle. Boss number seven. He's really not that hard. He usually flies around and you just hit him with a beak. Well, if he's too high, you can also whack him with a hook shot, which I missed. <laughs> but yeah, he's really not that difficult. Um, just a few good hits will eventually take him down. I'm just gonna hit him with the hook shot, because hook shot's awesome. When he does this, this is his attack where he's gonna blow you off the tower. If he blows you off the tower, um, you just have to start the battle over again. So, if you don't really want to do it, like, I really don't want to start this battle all over again, you equip your melee shield and reflect with an attack. Um, his other main attack is, which I just stopped him from doing, is he'll basically dive at you, so, yeah, he's really not that hard, um, once you figure him out. I remember, though, the first time I played him, I couldn't figure out what to do, <laughs> and I kept getting knocked off the whole time, and I couldn't figure out how to kill him. But yeah, he goes down. Stressful of a boss. If you know how to use oak shots, so there you go. He gives you your next heart container. And you now can enter this locked room for your musical instrument. Okay, and we exit out, and we lost our little friend, our little rooster. But yeah, that was Seventh Dungeon. That was Eagle's Tower, and I hope you enjoyed this let's play. And in the next episode, we'll be doing a couple little side quests before we, such as getting our level two sword, before we head off to our final dungeon. So I hope you're enjoying these let's plays, and we're almost done. So keep playing.